Here at the Detroit Auto Show, you can really see how automakers are working to keep up with the pace of change in consumer electronics. It's kind of tough when you get a new phone every year or so, but you only ever get a new car about once every five or six years. Companies like Johnson Controls, a supplier that makes a lot of the parts that go into cars these days, they're looking at ways to take technology from iPhones and tablet computers and put those into the dashboard of your car so you can keep up with all the changes in real time. Now that doesn't mean that buttons and knobs are going away completely. What it does mean though is you can do a lot more with them. For example, this knob here could be either a radio knob or could set your temperature for your air conditioning. And up here you can decide what type of information you want to display, as many kinds as you want, including moving that information up here into a virtual gauge cluster or even in a heads-up display that you can see while you're driving down the road. And it's not just about the driver. For example, in this back seat intended for luxury cars, the back seat passenger can adjust their seat using their own iPad and a Bluetooth connection. I can put the back down and I can put the footrest up, and chill out and listen to some music. While all this technology is pretty much ready to go right now, the fact remains it still takes about three to five years to develop a new automobile. But before too long, yeah, you could be using your iPad to control your car. For CNN, I'm Peter Valdez-Depena.